Today is Thursday, June 14, and uh, 2012. Hi, everyone. Um, today is Thursday, and uh, tomorrow is Friday. That when we are uh, going to do five gallon water change, clean the front glass, and um, and uh, the egg crate that wears the cores uh, and the reason I shoot this video is just one um, uh, you to see that this is what we do every week is that what we have to deal with um, so this is the uh, experimental of the four identical reaper for him the only things that we have here is just the different uh, filtration system that we use. So uh, intentionally, we do not um, clean the size of the uh, tank. We, we only clean the front uh, panel, so we can photo shoot and videotape like uh, what you see here right now. So, um, so this is a day prior to what we do all of that and this is what we have to do every single week uh, and do uh, siphon the uh, detritus from the bottom uh, and then after we do that we just uh, siphon whatever we can siphon from the egg crate here uh, to make up about five gallons of water but before we uh, do that, uh, on Friday, um, what we do, we, uh, we scrub all the egg crate uh, to get rid of the um, algae that grow and potentially is going to kill coral if we do not uh, do that, uh, get rid of it. So, and as you can see, there's, there's a lot on this tank. And um, but if you're going to do one tank, we have to do the rest of the tank. And if you see, here is, is a lot less, uh, almost none existing. So it's this third aquarium, and um, and so is this fourth aquarium but it's a little dirty and what you see here is kind of brownish and that's because of the planetarium that uh, sun uh, sunbathe there it's because they need also light so uh, we, we have some outbreak of this planetarium we got flat warm here and uh, I did not had any predator for this uh, planetarium in, in this tank because the, again if we're going to do one in one tank we have to do it in all the tanks so I'll just leave it at that and it's not going to hurt anything it's just a little looking not so pretty but this tank is um, run by Strictly the ecosystem method right there. No protein skimmer, so the water coming down uh, to the first chamber that's where you see to the left, that's where the bioball is. That break down the protein to ammonia nitri nitrates and then uh, going to the miracle mud chamber refugium there, that where the nitrate is going to be fixed into a nitrogen gas. So the uh, the calipa that we're using is also um, um, use nitrate and some phosphate to uh, build up their biomass plant. But at the same time, this miracle must also release mineral and trace element into the aquarium. So uh, and uh, to the right canister there, that's what the uh, fluidized uh, uh, phosphate reactor and we put in about um, almost uh, 100 uh, mil of the uh, ecophos media 
So, so this is basically it. We do not add any uh, chemical additive calcium into all of this tank except the uh, about 10% water change weekly. But before we do that, yes, we scrape off the uh, algae of the uh, egg crate, clean the glass, and we go to work. This is the, uh, certainly is a lot more cleaner here, and the color of the pore is a lot more uh, vibrant than uh, the previous one. And this is the I call it Ecosystem Plus or the Palutta Modified Palutta System because it also have a protein skimmer there in the first chamber as the uh, water from the uh, aquarium enter but things rather than uh, keep the protein skimmer here run 24-7 we just let it run about 6 hours a day and after that, we're going to the refusion with 10 pound of Miracle Mud, and there's a phosphate reactor there also. And this system is the Paletta system, the true Paletta. It's a combination of protein skimmer that run 24 7 and going through the refusion with 10 pound of Miracle Mud also. And as we going up, this tank is certainly very clean. The same as the second tank. The colors are very vibrant and cool. And uh, here, the last tank of the four tank here, as you can see, there's a lot of algae growing on the surface of the aquarium, on the egg crate. And um, and we are we will well scrap off the algae on the egg crate, and then let it settle, and then what we do we siphon out the uh, detritus from the bottom of the tank, um, and do water change about 10% by gallon because the total volume in each tank here is about 60 gallons. And this is what the system we use, okay? It's what is known as the Berlin system. Um, so basically it's just a protein skimmer running 24-7, but instead of having any refugium, no, no refugium, nothing, we just leave it empty. No miracle mud, no light, no plan. So this is what a Berlin system is. Um, all identical filter that we made. So the same volume of the water, the same everything. And here's the only thing is different here. It's just the filtration system that we do. But in terms of the setup, of all of this four tank all identical from each tank um, light up by a 250 watt Miller Halite Ultra brand 20,000K the same core placement uh, according to the water flow but as you can see this is what we have to deal with every single week now um, we have to scrub uh, the tank the egg crate um, so that we can continue all of this experiment for long term and um, the last call that going here is November 26 2011 with by Steve Garrett so this experiment has been going on for over six months now and it's just about time that we start to see the cores start taking out. And that's the Berlin system.